Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another Dating the Signs video. Before I get into anything, let me just say, I know that my posting schedule, rhythm, whatever, has been way off for a really long time, and I'm sorry, but I am struggling with this time of year, and it's really hard for me to create, it's really hard for me to focus, so, I mean, that's kind of why I look like this. I look really tired, but I wanted to make a video today because I have um, something to share with you guys. And also, Capricorn season is starting really quick. So I've got to get this video up to make sure I make it into the algorithm for all the Capricorn videos. Do you feel me? Anyways, before I get into dating the sign Capricorn, five things you need to know about dating a Capricorn, I do want to let you guys know that this video is in partnership again with Sips by Tea. If you're not familiar with that brand, they are incredible. I've been working with them for a couple months now and Basically what it is, is a customized, personalized tea subscription box. My November box came a little bit late, so this is gonna be my November and my December box, but what you do is you go online and you make a tea profile and pick out what kind of teas you like, and every single month they will send you a personalized tea box that tells you everything you knew, you would possibly want to know about every single tea that they're sending you. So I've been getting a lot of matcha, a lot of chai lately. And right now I'm actually drinking Tulsi Hibiscus by the brand Organic India. And it's amazing, it's caffeine free, it tastes absolutely incredible. But if you're interested in um, having your own subscription box kind of set up, go down below. There is a code in my description box, Brook5 will get you five dollars off your first month and i'm really happy to share that with you guys because i've been pushing all my friends to go there i don't get money or anything from this i just genuinely love their brand i love what they stand for they're amazing and you if you are a tea drinker if you love tea this is for you because you get to try five new teas every single month or four new teas four or five but they send you a ton like a ton i'm still working on my box from September and it's December right now. It's totally worth it. It's $15 per month, but again, use the code down in my description box for $5 off your first box. So with all that being said, thank you Sips5 for again partnering with me. This hibiscus tea is really hitting the spot. So let's go ahead and get into the real purpose of this video, which is talking about five things you need to know about dating a Capricorn sun. First of all, let me say I adore Capricorns. I'm engaged to a Capricorn, and I have two best friends from college who are Capricorns, and I just think that they are exquisite people. I really like them, and I see so much like hate in the um, astrology community on Twitter about like, oh, Capricorn men this, I hate Capricorn men that, and I'm just like, who hurt y'all? Right. So, um, that could be because I'm a Cancer and like Capricorn and Cancer are opposite each other on like the Zodiac, like the wheel, opposites attract, whatever, I guess. I don't know. But regardless, let's just go ahead and get into the five things that you need to know about dating a Capricorn son. So the first one is they have loner tendencies. They're very private people. They prefer their own company over um, the company of others until proven otherwise, which I mean, all of us should be protective of our energy. Know what kind of people you're bringing into your life until it's too late. Um, they have trust issues and they struggle to express their feelings and they kind of retreat into a shell a little bit like cancer does. Um, but yeah, they're, they're really, they can be loners. They'll sit in their room and listen to music and just chill and enjoy their own energy and their own company and that is perfectly fine. Number two, Capricorn sons are pretty disciplined people when it comes to planning for the future. This is with school, money, work, relationships, whatever. They can be pretty one track minded um, when they have a goal or something in mind, especially if they want to accomplish like said goal within a certain amount of time. I feel like certain types of Capricorns um, with different placements would also sacrifice romance a little bit if it meant being with a partner who would help them more in their personal ambitions which is 
kind of selfish, but also at the same time, like that's a self-sacrifice that you're also making. So you're being selfish to others and yourself, but that's just my opinion. Capricorns typically marry like, I feel like, y'all would marry early in life like in your early 20s or really really late in life and i think that a majority of you would do would rather wait until you're older like 40s or 50s to get married maybe 30s late 30s to get married just because you want to make sure that you are successful in your career path and what you're doing before you bring someone else into the picture for the long haul which is totally understandable especially if that person is going to be like financially dependent on you you want to make sure you're going to be able to take care of them and take care of your future family number three capricorns are not really materialistic people that focus on the look of things the look and feel of things in their home and i'm speaking about this from experience um, but they are, you know, just just know that at the end of the day, a Capricorn doesn't care so much about whether or not the bed sheets and the pillowcases match so much as if it's clean and if it's comfortable. This is a kind of person who truly does appreciate um, a good atmosphere and like the comforts of home, but they don't always know how to create that for themselves. Number four, if you want to get a Capricorn a gift for this holiday season, just know that they appreciate quality over quantity and they also don't like gaudy stuff. So that's kind of iffy. You're like, should I spend a whole lot of money on one thing? Make a big like ostentatious show or what should I do? Capricorns would much rather have something from you that serves a logical purpose. So um, they might like a really, really nice French press maker for uh, Christmas or maybe they would like a new laptop for schoolwork, something that works really well but isn't like the top like high dollar, like $4,000 or something for a computer. They like quality. They like knowing that you took the time to pick something out for them that they'll seriously use. Capricorn sons can appreciate luxury, but they also understand the value of a dollar and they will probably, if they know how much you spent on them, they will freak out a little bit and they might be like, no, I can't accept this. I can't, you spent way too much on me. Like, oh my God, you know, um, they might freak out a little bit. Number five, if you want to know how to attract Capricorn's son, take the initiative and start a conversation with them because like I said before, they can be very aloof people. They can be very in their own heads. They might not want to reach out first and um, try to make friends because they are such like loner people to an extent and just like they are typically pretty introverted they're like they're pretty aloof some of them act like it's everyone else's um like job to impress them first a little bit um which it's, it's not it shouldn't be like that ever but i think they definitely have that mentality of like i know i'm cool if other people don't realize that that's on them not me if someone wants to come up and start a conversation, I'll see if I like them or not. I probably won't, but if I do, then that's fine too. Otherwise, I'm good on my own. Just humor them. They weigh every pro and every con of a friendship or a relationship or a work situation before putting their all into it, which is something that I think a lot of us should do more of um, with protecting our energy and picking the right path for ourselves. If they seem quiet getting to know you, it's just because they're trying to see where they stand with you. They're trying to get their footing. They are very stable, dominant creatures. They like to just know where they're at in everything at all times. They get very anxious and upset and worried if they think that there's a lot out there that they don't know about their situation. Um, if they don't know all the external factors, if they think there's multiple threats to their situation or to them that they don't know about, it makes them really anxious. So don't be surprised if they're just quiet and observing when you hang out or just trying to get to know you before letting you in. Build them up. Let them feel important. Everybody likes to have a mini ego trip every now and then. It's totally fine. Let them know that you admire them and you think their music taste is cool. And ultimately, ask them for help. Capricorns love to be like the knight or like the, what's the female version of the knight? Queen? I don't know. They love to be like the person in shining armor, like coming to someone's rescue. They love to 
be there for others spiritually and mentally and emotionally they love to help they like to be like that source of stability for people they like to be dependent on they like um just to know that someone looks at them as home like they, lo they love to know that someone looks at them as a secure place to be if they won't say it they do like it guys that is all that i have for you for this video today i hope that you enjoyed it if you are dating capricorn let me know down below if you are a capricorn sun let me know down below um if you haven't watched my other videos i've done a few more on the signs in this series go watch those uh, Aquarius season is coming up. We're gonna have to make a video for that. Thank you for being patient with me. I'm really trying my hardest. It's just seasonal affective disorder is real and I hate it. And it is it, it weighs on my chest. So it was really hard for me today to sit down and make this video. And I truly hope that you guys appreciated it and enjoyed it. And don't forget to go down below in the description box and sign up for sips by because they're gonna send you some amazing holiday teas dude amazing they're gonna send you amazing teas all right thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like this video and subscribe and i will see you in the next video bye